Good morning, you two pipe smokers. Here's a quick video. Um, I have to tell you, if you have some tobacco that you really dislike uh, for some reason, um, maybe you bought it and you just thought it was uh, recommended and for some reason you don't like it or it's uh, got some bite to it, I've been experimenting. Uh, as you know, I, I pressed that tobacco. So today I decided to mix some tobacco. I used the uh, same thing, Sir Riley, which is good on its own. But uh, And I mixed some mint. Uh, I put two capfuls of mint in this amount. And you can buy the mint in uh, the supermarket, the flavoring. And um, it smells fantastic. But what mint does, it gives you a cooling effect. So it's a, actually a really pleasant, um, if you like mint, of course, uh, experience because it, it gives a cooling and a fresh taste. It, it feels like you just brush your teeth after you smoke a pipe. It's so refreshing. Guys, I highly recommend you try it. And um, I'd love to know what you think. Uh, I think it's phenomenal. I really do. Um, it's... It, it smokes marvelous. It, it really works r well with Sir Walter Riley. I don't see why it wouldn't work with some other blends um, equally as well. But I have to tell you, I'm I'm hooked. I, I really am hooked. Next, I think I'm going to try it with that value tobacco that you buy in a bag that's fairly cheap, and maybe you can make something that's really smokable it's likable for really inexpensive to sell it and then we could uh, play around with different flavorings they have orange uh, mint uh, vanilla anise they have which is like a anisette type of flavoring which uh, licorice which would be interesting uh, almond uh, amaretto you can buy that at your local supermarket it's food grade and um, I think it's a, a, a worthy experiment, let's put it that way. All right, guys. So I hope everybody's having a good day. It's Thursday. The weather's a little, little nicer here in the east, finally. Um, and enjoy yourself and uh, try it out. Thank you.